Okay, so there's a lot of different artificial intelligence products. And one of the most compelling concerns for an attorney who uses AI is confidentiality. There are products that claim to have increased confidentiality, but those products also have an increased price. And it's hard to try every product, and it's hard to find out which products work the best and which ones don't. I will have to admit that I have not tried all the products. In fact, I have stayed with the classic ChatGPT. Everything that I've read is that ChatGPT in many ways is still the best. Okay, but I can't say that through experience. But what the problem with ChatGPT is, is that it doesn't have the confidentiality safeguards that a lawyer would really hope for. I contacted the Florida Bar about this and I asked them about what I could do and what I couldn't do with ChatGPT. You know, I was very surprised to learn, and many defense attorneys might be, you can't even take a public record police report that you received in discovery and load it into ChatGPT without breaching confidentiality. And that's because the rule is very strict. Anything that you receive in the course of representation, confidentiality attaches. And I was surprised because a police report's public record. You can just go on the internet and grab it. You can ask the police department, hey, please send me a copy of this police report. And anyone can do that. But as an attorney who receives it in the course of representation, confidentiality attaches. So the solution to this was to create a document. And what the document does is it explains to the client what I want to do with his discovery, that I want to put it into this chat GPT and use the power of chat GPT to help in representation. 